Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I want to talk all about refreshing specific tables in Power BI Desktop. All right. So I was recently working on a project where they had one table that had hundreds of millions, even billions of rows of data. And I configured an incremental refresh to only pull a small amount, some millions of rows. It was still a lot and it still took a long time to pull that in. And then we had some dimension tables or lookup tables that had smaller sets of data that they loaded, the team loaded later. And I needed to refresh those also. Right. And so I. When I started, I just refreshed the table with a hundred millions or millions of rows of data. And then I needed to wait, but I, you know, I got that one going cause it took a little while to refresh that one, to pull that data down. And I was waiting. And so once they, wait, 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 instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do. Let's head over to my laptop. This, the internet sales, let's, let's pretend the internet sales table was the one with the millions and millions and billions of rows of data. And then I had my dimension tables. They, they didn't have a lot. So they loaded this table up first, right? And I was able to get it cached down and get my data imported. And then I needed to refresh, you know, a couple of these tables. Let's say the employee table and the product table. Well, built into the Power BI desktop, I can easily just say right click and refresh. And this will refresh just that table. And then I can right click here and click refresh data and it will refresh just those tables. Well, you guys know I recently did a video on the model view, my three favorite features in the model view. Well, this, what I'm about to show you, it should have been included in my three favorite. It been my four favorite features all right so let's head back to my laptop so if you go to the model view instead of doing them one at a time one at a time if you go to the model view what i can do is i can click on my employee table hold down control click on my product table now i've multi-selected those tables and guess what when i right click I can choose refresh data and only those two tables are going to refresh. This is crazy. This is great. It's so easy, so intuitive, and it just works. And what the funny thing is when I, after I finished that product project, this was after that video was, I was like, oh, I should include the video. I woke up the next morning and Gilbert Q wrote a great blog post, just kind of walking through this step by step step by step great blog post gilbert q and there's some comments in the model view videos like hey patrick you shouldn't include this one and so that's why i'm doing this video okay what do you guys think you got any questions comments you know what to do let's continue the conversation where in the comments below it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video give me a big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video